Hello, hi, and welcome to today's Unity tutorial. We are going to look at something very, very extremely immense, important for every game. For me, this is more important than graphics most of the time, um, depending on the game, of course. We're talking about sound and music. How do we get audio into our game? So this is also the first time that you will see me wearing my headphones, because that is, of course, necessary for the implementation of sounds. If I can't hear it, I cannot really work with it. So let's put up on our headphones and let's actually start with it. So there's two types of different sounds I want to show you uh, that we are going to add. Therefore, I have uh, download links, actually. Um, I am using two websites mainly for implementing sounds. The first one is directly YouTube. I've got a link in the description below and the YouTube link my YouTube is on in German, by the way, so doesn't matter. if you don't understand anything that's going on here, it's okay. Uh, if you go in your YouTube, if you have an account and you go into your channel and you're in your account info, and then there's media take, like audio. And there's a lot of free music that you can use and a lot of free sound effects that you can use. So those are actually pretty nice. You can just download them and they're mainly for YouTube videos. But if you go here, for example, on the music, it says the licensing right there. So whatever you can do with this, that's the licensing there. Just read through it. Uh, if I want to, I can just download, just pressing down button. I've got some sounds prepared. The second website that I usually use is freesound.org. I will also put a link in the description below, um, especially to this sound that I'm using. And we want to implement a sound for the jump. It will sound like this, right? And here you can also just download and I, I've got something. This works licensed on the Creative Commons license. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. You can just on the website. It is pretty slow because it's an org website. Uh, you can just search for any sounds. Come on, load. And there you can also search for a copyrighted version. Uh, where can we? Where do I do the copyright again? Uh, what? Uh, Boing. Search for Boeing, and then it should actually give me, yeah, the Creative Commons. So Creative Commons are the usually the sounds. Creative Commons Zero is usually what you can use everywhere. Okay, so I could use this in my video right now. I can use this for jumping. I can do this, uh, whatever I want. All right, or this one. Just search, just search for random sounds that you maybe like. I'll put the links in the description below. So when I, I have downloaded three examples and I will just drag and drop those into my project folder here in Unity directly. And it's going to be added into the assets. And from that moment on, I have access to them. Unity accepts a lot of uh, uh, audio formats. So if I select it right here, I can also press on the play button here to play the sound in Unity to hear what it was, like what it sounds like. Just some nice little uh, sounds that I've downloaded here. Good. So <clears throat> first sound to add is in our main menu, actually. In our main menu, I want to add uh, the sound for the main menu. Like, I think, was that one the one I chose? No, that's that, this one here. This should play all the time in our main menu. And it should, even if we wait for two minutes, I think it's around two minutes long, it should loop and it should start over. Therefore, it's actually pretty simple if you just want to do that. Right click in your hierarchy and there is audio and an audio source. I'm just adding a global audio source right now. <clears throat> yeah, there's two parts that are important. You need audio sources and you need that is already there on the main camera. If you uh, if you put a camera in your um, uh, in your project, it will usually automatically have an audio listener as well. So you need a listener. That's like you standing there with your ears, listening to the different audio sources that you have in your project. It also makes a, an important difference where you put that audio listener. I have it on the camera, which makes sense because that's the point from which you want to listen. And it's why you usually want to have it. Make sure that you only have one active audio listener uh, in every scene at a time. If you have more, then it will cause issues. It will have strange, strange behavior. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's the audio listener. Now on the audio source, we have a couple of settings, right? We have a couple of settings. The first is the audio clip. Uh, I wanted to add the happy mistake, so I can just drag and drop that into audio clip. 
And that is now the connected audio clip when we uh, play, when, when we're in the main menu. You can also use the little uh, target icon here. There's an audio mixer group, which we are not talking about now. We don't want to mute it. We want to play this on awake. That means as soon as the room is loaded, as soon as this audio source is in the room, uh, in the scene, it starts playing. And then last, we want to loop it so that it plays on and on and on and on and on. Uh, priority is not too important to know about. It's just the calculation, the background, what's the, which one will it play first and stuff. And uh, then we have volume. Of course, that's just the volume of your sound. So if I now do the following, I will just play the main menu and you will see the music stops, uh, starts playing. It's just gonna play in the background and it's gonna play on a loop. And on awake, it started right there. Uh, if I restart the room, it will also restart the music. That's how we have the settings. Volume, of course, more quiet uh, or more loud. Um, the pitch is the speed. If I make it very fast, it, go it can also go in negative, then it goes uh, plays backwards. Uh, usually you want, of course, depending on the thing you have, you want a one. Uh, stereo pan, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but if I select it right, it's only on my right, right speaker. If I do it left, it's only on the left speaker, and then everything in between is linear. If you put it to zero, it's right in the center. Now for an important thing. You've got the spatial blend, which is two-dimensional right now. I can also set it to three-dimensional. The strange thing you will see, it's off right now. Why is it off? Hmm, strange. The spatial blend is just... If you have it to 2D, pretty simple. Two-dimensional is not using any coordinates. It's just playing the sound with the settings that we have here. Three-dimensional is the following. If I go to my scene, we will see the audio source is there. It, is, it sits here, right? Uh, my main camera sits there. This is the listener and this is the source. If I turn on my gizmos, you see this is the distance that my source has right now. And if my audio listener is not in there, right, or at the very edge, or the more far away it is, the more quiet the sound is. And that is three-dimensional. I can change this three-dimensional behavior. You see this here? If I have the 3D settings open, you can, for example, you can change the behavior. For example, not logarithmic, but linear. You see now the closer we are with the camera. Let's push the camera a bit in that direction just to see closer we are with our camera the closer we are I'm right now this is this red line is our camera it's right in the middle so if I get closer with the camera it will get louder and what you hear this that's just because we're moving that's the so-called Doppler effect <laughs> uh, yeah so the closer we get we can of course change the maximum distance here that's just three-dimensional room so a sound can only be listened to right now 50 meters here, for example, or 50 dimensional space meters here, whatever that is. Minimum distance, maximum distance. Um, all of this makes sense when we're really talking about three dimensional sounds that you just hear in one spot of a scene, like someone shooting or you hear footsteps on the left side. Of course, that makes sense. Right now, I just want to have two dimensional. I want to hear it all the way, everywhere. Right? That is the setting here. Yeah. So I can leave the audio source. It doesn't matter where it is. It is two dimensional anyway. Okay, that's the first part. That's the first type of sound. So I've got this in the audio source. I want to have that of course also in my uh, levels. So let's go to the levels and there's game controller here. I want on the game controller, I can also add an audio source. So I go here, I, go, I search for audio source and I add an audio source. I will apply this to the prefab in a second. Uh, but first we want to put the correct clip in here. Now for the level, this should also be two dimensional. So it should always play. This is the background music, right? This is the background music. It should loop, it should play on a vague. Perfect. Add component, apply, boom. Now it is active for all the levels. So if I go, if I start a level, you will see the sound starts right here. So good. Uh, next thing. I want, when I jump, th there's a million sounds every game, but in our case, I want when I jump, I should hear that sound. If I'm closer, I hear it louder. If I'm more far away with the camera, it's more quiet. So it should be kind of three-dimensional. So I will add to our jump cloud, 
where we have the particle system from the last video that is connected to the player, right? It's right below the player. Uh, I will also add an audio source. This time I will make the boing, the clip. I will not play it on a wake. I will not play it on loop because it should only play when we jump and should only play once, so not looping. I want to make this a little bit 3D, a little bit combination of 2D and 3D. I want to hear it everywhere, but it should still depend on how close we are, right? Uh, whoops. Yeah. I can make the settings here, 500 meters. Let's make it a linear roll-off. Ah, a logarithmic roll-off is more uh, real. Ah, let's make it linear. Let's make it, maybe we can only hear it from 20 feet away, 20 meters away, whatever that is. Done. Um, whoops. Yeah. So that's our audio source. I will also add the component to the prefab so it's available in every level. That should only play when we jump. So on the player, we already did that last time in our player movement script. Exactly what we did last time with the jump cloud. We This time we want to add a public uh, audio source. Uh, jump sound. And exactly the same what we did with the particle system. It is really the, even the same code. Jump sound dot play. There we go. Done. <laughs> That's all the coding we need. Uh, so the jump cloud will now show up here. There we have it. We will uh, select the jump cloud, boink. We will apply this to the prefab. And now, whenever we jump, you will see boing. Maybe the background music is a bit too loud now. But everyone can choose their own. Like, uh, I think the background music is a bit too loud. So let's, let's actually make it 50% maybe. Yeah. And you see, now we have a nice, like, let's, let's, let's make it 0 0.5 here. Let's apply that to the prefab. And now we have a nice sound system. It's a very, very basic sound. We can jump. We could add sounds when we go into, when we bump into one of these. We could add sounds when we get to the goal, when we fall off the platform, when we actually get stuck in those. We can add sounds everywhere now with the same principle. Of course, there's more details to it, but that's pretty much it. So I will leave it at this, right? 10 minute video, 12 minutes video, that's okay. I'll leave the background music playing because it's such, such a funky tune. I love it. That's the basics. That's the basic basics of sounds. There's way more to it, uh, but that's already pretty nice. So now we've got, <laughs> now it's really a game we could play. I'm just dancing away here. Uh, you guys stay out there, stay safe, stay healthy. If this is any helpful, if you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.